Welcome, I'm Kaylee O'Donnell from the Technical Documentation Team at MSCRM Add-ons. And today I'm going to go over how to sort and filter data in Documents Core Pack templates with the Relationship Designer. Now this feature is useful for users who want to display their data based on a certain value or order in their template. I'll show you how to do this by, by walking you through a common use case where I want to create a quote document that only shows line items worth more than 200 euros and is also listing the product in alphabetical order. So let's get started. Okay, now as you can see, I've already opened up a quote template for us to use in this example. Here will be the list of products, their quantity, their price, etc. Now the first edit that I would like to make for how to display this data is to add a filter so that only products worth more than 200 euros will show. To do this, I will start by navigating to the MSCRM add-ons tab and then the insert mail merge field icon. This will open up our template designer. And then usually you'll begin on the standard tab where you can start inserting fields into your template, but I will navigate to the additional tab. And then I will select this edit icon from our existing quote line table. And this is where we can add that filter and also the sorting that we will do later. And once that opens up, it can always take just a moment. We will begin to filter the 200 euro products or above 200 euro. Here we go, okay. I'm just going to enlarge this screen. And now from here, we can move over to this filter and I will add a filter. So I'll say add. I will use the and type and I will select add again. And then once this loads, the attribute will be, the attribute will be the product, the price per product. So I'll move down to our P's and we'll use the price per unit. I will have the operator be greater than and we'll say 200 for the value. I'll then select OK. I'll select OK again here. And then finally select OK one more time to make sure that everything saves correctly. And now just to make sure that it did save correctly and is working as anticipated, I will test this template against some sample data. I'll do this by navigating to the Choose Data icon. And yes, I would like to save the template with the edits we have made. And then once this loads, I will be able to search through our active quote records and select one to use um, against this template in a sample. Perfect. So I'll search against our active quote records. I will select this quote here. And then I hit select on the bottom. And it can always take a moment to generate, but it will use that data to generate a sample quote document. And we can make sure that only the items that are greater than 200 euros are showing. And it should appear now. Perfect, so as you can see, only the product items that are worth more than 200 euros are listed here, starting at 686. Okay, and now that that is working correctly, we wanna move on to the second step, which will be to sort the um, products based on alphabetical order. So I will close out this sample document and go back to our template. I will open the insert mail to merge fields or select the icon again to open the documents core pack template designer. And then again, select this edit icon from the additional tab. And then this time we will not navigate to the filter section, but to the sorting section, which will appear in just a moment. Perfect, okay, I'm gonna open this up again. And so this is the filter section. We can see that our price per unit is still listed here, that one filter. And now I'm gonna move down to the sorting section. I would like our attribute to be the product name because I want the product name to be in alphabetical order. So I will select do, 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 product name, there it is. And I will say ascending order. I will say okay. And now we're gonna test our document again to make sure that that held. So I'll do choose data again. Yes, I would like to save these changes. And then I will search through our quote, active quote records again for which to sample from. I will select the same one as before and select. Okay, and now we are just waiting for that document to load. Okay, and here we go. Now, as you can see, here we go. Perfect, now this time the products are listed in alphabetical order, which is different from the time before and everything is looking correct. We have the price is still above 200 euro. Everything is in alphabetical order. And everything is looking good. All right, and that concludes my short demo on how to sort and filter data in Documents Core Pack templates with the Relationship Designer. As always, feel free to drop any questions in our comment section below, and make sure to subscribe to our channel to avoid missing any updates in the future. Thank you.